Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. But every once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, the rage monster, and the big dumb idiot had the world on a string. Well, for the most part. Anu, the competent one, intended to collect a corpse. But thanks to Susan Caldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Four hundred. <laughs> Ock! Ock! Can you hear me? I haven't been up to much. Just about to get murdered! It's good. Just come back when finished. Yeah, will do. Hundred. One! Four. Hundred. Body. Level of deterioration, severe. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, low. Damn! I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high, if she were a corpse. A scalpel, useful for transforming people into corpses. I, no, 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 I, 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 I don't want to kill again. Really? Because the idea is growing Stop. on me. Watch it! Nothing personal! Go on. Just die, you psycho! Now 
Well, this is it! You psycho bandit trash! Sorry, I murdered you for no reason. Kind of. I'm sorry. Necessary? Uh, and where is Fran? I have something important to tell you both. Bup, bup, bup. I, I said no peeking. Voila! Say hello to our new HQ. Do you love it? I bought it from the city's top realtor, Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Central location, spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogut. <laughs> what? No. Yes! You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogut. The same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. <laughs> that sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named... 
an awesome name that I totally remember, and that name is Global Compucor. I, I actually like that. Right? You bought a blown out Froga shop. The same Froga shop we fled, and the only difference is the custom plaque. Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Updates such as... What about these 100% granite countertops? It's slabs of blown up granite from Tedio's attack that have been left on the counter. She said it was shabby chic. Shabby, 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 chic. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full in cash up front. You what? It took some professional gauche, uh, professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we won from Sink or Swim. Says this building is ours free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. <sighs> This already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high-level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. I don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but... I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew Fran would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what, exactly? If you're dragging this out to create suspense, which just feels like anxiety to me, more, more anxiety. A plasma ball. Very scientific. I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. Yeah, I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you... <laughs> Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. Get up, you two. That. I leave you two doofuses alone for one second and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes, he spent all of our capital buying. She pulled my ear. Hard. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again. And I love these countertops. They used to be our floor. Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus. Fergus? Arousing. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, uh -huh. a rather fascinating human. The dancing, the free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state, coexisting with instinct and agency. 
He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and, somehow, life-affirming. You're just beholding the power of pure grade A sexiness. Drink it in, Brobot. Drink it in. When I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Him. A, a guru. Him. Sure, he's a great dancer with chiseled abs and a butt that refuses to quit. But I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. Does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> he can file our frozen yogurt reports. We don't have frozen yogurt reports. Let me have this! Don't you see? We can't hire him! This unpaid sexy intern is tearing us apart! Who died and made you queen of HR? The following HR professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Copsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor. He's majoring in libidinous business management and minoring in hot throbbing. Fran! You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Free. And you want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor! That's it. I give up. Welcome aboard. Yes! I hope you enjoy your time at Global CompuCore. Fergus, whip us up some froyo daiquiris. Extra space rum. Free labor. Free labor. <gasps> I never get tired of that tush. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the... the... the nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get, like, supplies? A corpse. Oh, wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. You're right. I screwed up. I had to bring a dead body for organic testing material, and I failed. I failed you, I failed the company, and most of all, I failed myself. If there's anything, anything I could do to make it up to you, let me know. Well, I guess you could wax my hover chair. And make me tacos for the rest of the month? I could do it with an oil change. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter now anyway. I was weak. Hey, you couldn't bring yourself to kill somebody? That's nothing to be ashamed of. No, I definitely killed somebody. I just have no upper body strength. Or lower body. Or middle body. Oh, the point is, none of us accomplished anything. Is that right? Not entirely. Anu at least managed to evade the TDO patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and Octavia ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was there? The person running the morgue tried to collect on my bounty. Baby girl's first bounty? Aww. Guys, focus! If the security cams got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed, but I wasn't. We were going to the same place! There's no way. Hello, Ding Tong. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor 
new to heart on. Prepare to die! Wait just a minute. Doctor Anuta Harda. Your bounty is misspelled. I won't murder you. Why don't you let me get you a Frogurt? We'll all cool down and let calmer heads prevail. What do you say? I am a gun. Violence is expected! Yes, but if you pull that trigger, a couple of things are gonna happen. One... Ah! Oh my god! No! Congratulations! You killed my commander, and I killed your doctor. We are now even, Stephen. Oh, I'll show you even. for the win! Joke's on you! I didn't like those guys anyway! I had a mission, and I completed it! Meanwhile, your friend is still dead! Later, loser! We let you down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct. Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. How are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute. A, a really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Whoa, whoa, you were totally dead there less than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I... <gasps> Not fine at all. It's weird. I... Uh, Anu? Your eyes are glowing. I feel... Wrong. Is this normality? Nothing about this is normal. Anu? Say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. 
Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes all funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Gah! You seem to have changed the Shard's energy signature, Francine. You will only cause us... Harm! Anu? That you, girl? We must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Snap. Out. Of. It. Snap out of it. Okay, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to alien possession, too. What would Anu do? Probably befriended. Ah, uh, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. Uh. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh. uh, Octavio here. Um... I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Uh, now? Please? Just leave her alone, okay? She's, she's no good to you if you hurt her. You're half for the promise. We are made whole. I, I promise! <gasps> oh, no! <coughs> <laughs> First you were dead, and then you were super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. I'm sorry I blew all our money on our blown-out Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle-making morgue attendant and left Tidio straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free labor. Free labor? Free labor indeed. <sighs> Listen, I'm great at running a dessert-based business that I have inherited, but let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business? It's hard. So hard! And we're bad at this, like really bad. Really bad. bad. We've made so many rookie mistakes. So many. Not having a lock on the front door. Bit of a security issue. I'm not sure that even qualifies as a front door. Okay, maybe Fran's right. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It does when you think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone seasoned, successful, and already on our side. Strong Fork! The angel investor! Oh, that's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am. And it's a Nekodex Pahone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever. Give me the phone thingy. Howdy, howdy. You got Fran here. You can just talk normally. Fran or Franz Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arno's bread box. Oh. We revealing our device brought me back from the dead. She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If word gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the narrative. Narrative? What you heard on the news is true. Anu was shot in the head at close range by TDR. She died from a lack of complete head. I got better. My head is complete. You mind running that by me again, partner? You invested in us because you saw the Hippocratic Magic heal. We have since discovered 
quite recently and through first-hand experimentation <laughs> that it does, in fact, revive the dead. Well, burn my biscuits. That's all kinds of interesting. But it means the target on y'all's head just got even bigger. That's why we're calling you on the Echo Doodle Doo. Echo Dex. We were wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. Maybe protect us from Tidor and other bounty hunters while we're at it. Tell you what, housing your enterprise is a big expense, but I didn't just invest in that Healy beam of yours, I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments. That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when I say we very much want to stay alive. And we're grateful for your help. From one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research? Hot tub? Abdul. I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy? High five time? High five time. And speaking of investments, we need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor? They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. Hacienda, you? Oh, no! Y'all have to forgive me. I know it's rude not to give y'all a big old warm welcome face to face, but you got here just in time for a real special hoot nanny was happening this very night. I'm hosting a bit of a fete or partido, if you will, and you are, of course, all invited. A party? With... People? <laughs> Anu, Han, take a deep breath. In. You can't just party spring on me. No warning because surprise. <laughs> and out. It's just a little soiree, sister. We're gonna be beside you the whole time. You gonna be okay? The party will start in just a few wee hours, and I so look forward to meeting y'all in person when it kicks off. Until then, I went and took the liberty to arrange some pleasant diversions for each of you that I hope you will find to your liking. I'll leave you in the hands of my capable assistant. What about Louis? Do you have something special for him to do? Yeah, what about Louie? He's part of our team. What? He's grown on me. I have not. I remain unattached from your person. See? Charming. I would never overlook such a fine piece of machinery. L0U13, you'll find an outlet on the wall. It's quite special. It will plug you into an AI-only server where you can, how to put this, exchange data with other consenting intelligences. I'm talking multiple data packets. I do enjoy the exchange of data. Cool, bud. You, uh, you enjoy that. Oh, my. That's very good. 
Mr. Wallace Dar, please follow me. Miss Miskowitz and Dr. Dar, I will be with you momentarily. in Bradwick. No way. Yes way. No way! Bivington Bradwick. Yeah, I... Yes, it's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are too. <laughs> That's right, you are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? <laughs> this is a dream come true. I feel so fudging validated right now. Fudge, yes. Even more validation. Thank you, Vivington Bradwick. I love you. Yeah. Oh, right. I almost forgot. This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. <laughs> so, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business tight into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like... Man of taste. Maybe something from the booze louche. <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the booze louche. Water's fine, thanks. versions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You sure they're having a good time too? Oh, absolutely positive. Dar, at last! It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, after you. State-of-the-art facilities, unlimited resources. Huh? 
A dedicated, multidisciplinary team working under you. No oversight and no deadlines. Not to be just like super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. I love this. Oh, yes, that's an excellent machine for... I love it here. No, oh, that's good. I stay here. That's the hope. Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me, and... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems which, if you solved them, would change all of science, probably even the world, forever. Like... The type of problem where they'd name an equation after me? Equations? <laughs> More like planets. But that's okay. You are a busy woman with things to do. I suppose I have a few minutes. I could take a quick peek. Process. Trust science! feeling about this. I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more... Base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more base. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> you work. Hmm. There's no cipher for this code in the database. If I had more text to work with, I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> no way. No way. Is that... A Voltlander's figurine of Maya in her limited edition cloak of Athena's. <laughs> Maya. Maya. Maya, 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 Maya. Maya. <clears throat> I could take you. 
should I take you? I want to take you. I can't take you. But someone else could take you. It'd be wrong to take you. I'm gonna take you. I took you. Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. <gasps> Surely there's enough text here to crack the code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm. Now that I have the code, I can translate to the whiteboard. <gasps> yes! Plus one point for Anu's genius. You cracked the code. We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life-altering advice. Identified the issue. You've you've crossed the streams. If we uncross them, <laughs> should be all working now. Oh, so close, but no. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. You... you've done it! We've been struggling with these problems for weeks on end, and you... solved them! All of them! In one day! That's... wow! That is... wow! Well, I... You know, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for Dr. Dar! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Oh, <laughs> 